That's the double bond. Treating with the ozone. So we know it's going to break the double bond right there. And then we do the reductive walk-up. So it's a double bond, but it's doubly substitutory side here, doubly substitutory side there. So basically, you've got the ketone on the bottom side. You got the ketone also the top side. You are breaking up the both ketones. But when you break this molecule, then you're gonna break there. But you have to pay attention that now you're using permanganate. So it becomes a ketone on that side. But on this side, singly substitute side, that becomes a complexity with us. And then this molecule is connected, right? That's why it becomes a those two are you know, connected together. Yeah. If you treat this with a permanganate, then what would be the product? Are they making different products? The doubly substitutory side. No matter what region you use, it makes a ketone. So basically, it makes the same products. You got ketone for both of them. But it will make a difference is for that one. If you treat this one with an ozone, yes, it's going to break the same conditions. And then this part is going to be the same as a ketone. It doesn't make a difference on that side. But singly substituted side, that's the where it makes a difference, depending on what you use. Permanganate, I mean, also produce aldehyde first, but it can oxidize to the ketones, either toxic acid. But ozonol says it produces an aldehyde, but there are no more oxygen, so it stays as an aldehyde. So that is something that we will have to remember. Reagents make the differences of the part of the product, depending on their level of substitutions. If they are both doubly substituted, same, no matter what you use, you get the same thing. So it's not always make a difference. It depends on what they are. Well, considering all other things, these are pretty simple, because I hope that you remember these things.